Power Pinpoint weather team coverage continues now. As we mentioned, it was a tough morning commute for local drivers. Snow falling steadily during the morning drive and led to poor visibility, slippery conditions, and some school delays. Tonight, we're hearing your stories of today's weather. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo hit the streets. He joins us now with more on what people had to say. School systems had to make some difficult choices this morning, cancel school or delay the start time. Most school systems decided to start a little bit later. Sometimes it's not how much snow we get, but the timing of the snow. And this morning, snow was a lot at a bad time. And then when I looked outside, I saw like at least two inches. So that was surprising. And that two inches grew to more than six inches by late morning in East Providence. Most everyone we talked to expected snow, but not this much. Bands of snow only slowly moved across Rhode Island, and it was a fluffy snow, which piled up quickly. The East Providence school system had a one-hour delay, which was good news for kids like Preston, who got a little extra time to walk to school, but his walk was treacherous. You feel safe at all walking? No, not really. It was like the cars were really close to the sidewalk because there was no lines due to the snow. There were dozens of school delays across the region, mostly one hour delays, but a few two hour delays. Some schools let Mother Nature win for the day and eventually canceled. 5.4 inches of snow fell at TF Green Airport, bringing the seasonal total up to 28.7 inches, which is almost 10 inches above average for the date. Some people's above average patience for the snow is wearing thin. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm ready for spring. There are some business and meeting cancellations for this evening. For that list, you can go to our website at WPRI.com. In the control room, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News. Our pinpoint weather team coverage of this morning's snow continues. Now, as you probably noticed, this storm dropped several more inches of snow than expected, enough to slow down the morning commute and even cancel school in some places. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo looks at the storm's impact and why it was more than expected. The computer information we use to make forecasts is very good, but sometimes subtle changes can have big impacts. The snow Tuesday morning forced dozens of schools to delay their start times or cancel altogether. Drive times to work ballooned as the snow piled up. It was a little surprising when I woke up. Uh, I heard my neighbors shoveling. Before anyone hit the roads, they had to do a little more shoveling than they expected. I did have some doctor's appointments, and my daughter had a dentist appointment, so we had to get that stuff taken care of. But, um, you know, I mean, I got the truck for it. Truck or no truck, the highways were jammed. The falling snow snarled the morning commute. Visibility was poor in the heavy snow, and the roads quickly became slick. Two to three inches in the early part of the commute became six to eight inches by the end of it. Bumper to bumper traffic was on every major highway highway. I'll tell you what, I'm ready for spring. The air was colder than anticipated, creating a fluffier snow, which piled up more quickly. But still, yes, this was more than anyone expected. Far away from the center of the storm, heavy bands of snow developed and only slowly moved across the area. With almost two months to go this winter, some say bring on more snow. No, no, I love it. I love it. I love my four seasons. While others are ready for dry roads and warmer times. Ready for spring, the beaches, and Super Bowl next Sunday. <laughs> to date, we have gotten about 10 inches more snow this year than we did at the end of January last year. In the control room, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.